So the Chrome OS Flex is very similar to the normal Chrome OS but there is a one major difference. So in this video let's take a overlook of the Chrome OS Flex and also how we can try it for ourselves. So after the acquisition of uh, Neverwhere by Google in 2020, it has finally released the rebranded version of Cloud Ready as the Google Chrome OS Flex. So on the website you need to fill out this form and then it will take you through the process but I will tell you how you can do this without doing all that. So let's see how we can try it for ourselves. So we need to download the Chromebook recovery utility from the Chrome Web Store. All the links will be in the description so check that out and after you click on the extension so before getting started make sure you have a 8 gb pen drive and then we need to select our model number and in the model number you need to select google chrome os flex and the version will be the developer unstable and then we'll just continue and we need to select our usb pen drive and now we can create a recovery image so now it's going to start and it is going to take a lot of time it will first write the recovery image download it then verify it and then you will see the success now we need to boot our laptop or pc and you can see the boot device key for all the manufacturers and for my asus it is the f2 and in the BIOS, we need to select the boot device options. So I'm going to press the button and then the boot menu. We need to boot from the pen drive. So we will select our pen drive. And when I select it, we will see the Chrome logo and the uh, interface will show up shortly. So now you can see it says welcome to cloud ready 2.0 and not the chrome os flex and we have two options either to install it or try it out we're going to try it out installing it will replace our primary os which is windows and that we do not want for now you can use it as a primary os if you have an old laptop or mac so after connecting it to the wi-fi and setting it up it is asking us to sign in so first let us try it out as a guest mode Looking at the guest mode, it looks like it is very similar to the normal Chrome OS. We do not even have the Google Play Store. So let me sign in and continue with the video. So now I have signed it with my Google account and it is giving us some welcome offers from Google One and YouTube. It is an official version so we can use it as our primary OS and with our primary account as well. So going into the settings, uh, it is very similar to the normal Chrome OS. We have the nearby share and uh, the device information. And I have an AMD chip and it is working pretty fine. You can see the number of wallpaper. All of them are really pretty. And you can like uh, use multiple so it will refresh daily. This is the Chrome browser. And if you go to YouTube, so while I'm scrolling, it feels very smooth. So if you're liking the video, please consider hitting the like button. And I have not recorded the audio, but the audio is also working very fine and it is loud and clear, making it suitable for media consumption. So this is the file manager and it's very typical chrome os file manager even the google docs opens up in chrome browser so chrome browser is going to be used for most of the tasks as i do not see any google play store so yes this is the major difference you do not get the google play store in this uh, chrome os flex you can edit your documents and it is meant for the typical office and school work uses so that is sorted with the chrome os this is the Chrome OS, uh, the Chrome browser settings. You have the Chrome extensions and everything. And if you try the nearby share, it makes it very easy to share files between your phone and the laptop or PC. After setting up the nearby share, we can 
receive files from the smartphone and then we can view it in the gallery so this is the image that i sent and of course we can also send files from the chrome os to the smartphone or android device using the nearby share and the prompt will come onto the smartphone and you can see the name of the device so it's good to know that nearby share is working pretty fine and we can easily transfer files between the devices let's try the google assistant so if you say hey google uh, you can see the google assistant wakes up and we can use it for our usual task like asking the weather or using it to control our smart home devices so that's a good thing about the chrome os and you can see the version of the chrome os this is an official version from google so i think we will be getting further updates as well let's check if you can use the linux system as it was supported in the normal chrome os so it is not getting installed because the minimum space required is 10 gb and we are just trying it out from a usb drive so i think if you use it as a primary os linux should work if any of you guys end up trying it as a primary os do let me know if the linux is working or not so i think chrome os flex is a fantastic operating system if you have an old laptop or pc lying around so let me know in the comments if you have any questions and that was it for this video and i will see you in the next one